These are mama's little boys, and she thinks they need a little better shade. Hey folks, welcome back to the Rock and Sea Homestead. My name is Lance and we're out here in our buck area with our two bucks. This is Finn and this is Huck if you don't know. And Marcy's always been saying that we need to put a permanent shade area out here for them. We don't have just a ton of shade out here, but we do have some, but they needed more. And as you can see, these guys are rambunctious. So the first thing we had to do was build this little, little gate, gated area for them. So this is locked down for them. And we kind of just put up some cattle panel with some T-post and we have a gate over here we can swing open so we can be in this area and still have these guys here so we don't have to try to haul them someplace else and move them back. Because if you can't see, uh, if we're in here with them, they're on us nonstop. We can't get anything done. They're getting into everything because they just want some loved ones, don't you? And they're a little stinky. So this is what we built here. So 10 by 10 structure, about eight foot tall. And this is gonna give them plenty of shade. We're gonna move this picnic table back in the middle. We got a couple other plans that it's not gonna to happen today or tomorrow, but we got some other things that we're working and we'll bring you guys along for that for sure. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, it'd be a perfect time to do that. There's a button right down there, ring that bell so you get notified every time a video comes out. We really appreciate it. So in the past, you know, this picnic table is about where this is underneath here. And we have had some shades over it, but we've used those little canopy, you know, pop-up canopies that you see on tailgates and those kind of things. And unfortunately, they just don't last with these big bucks. Either the wind gets them and they kind of get torn down a little bit, then the boys really get them, or they just rough up against them too much and they just break down. So after about the third one, we said, that's enough. We need to build something. So we kind of waited till after winter and now it's getting warm. It's about, about in the middle 80s almost every day now. And these guys need some better shade. So this is the structure we built. So definitely this isn't a how-to video. It's more of this is what we did. But let me kind of talk you through kind of what we did here. So of course we started off with four by four post. And we used a product, if you've never used this, it was actually like a foam concrete. So you kind of mix a bag up, you dump it in there and it foams up and it kind of expands out and it holds the four by four in there really tight. I've used it before in work. We've used it on some other projects here, but for a situation like this where we have a limited amount of time that we need uh, a post, set, harden, that stuff works great. You don't have to worry about it. You, have, you don't have to wait for another day to come back in here and do some, you know, and be able to use it. So that foam concrete works really, really good. So we kind of uh, set the four post. We kind of used, uh, we kind of used these two by sixes, kind of our guide to make sure everything was pretty square. It's home steady, good enough. I'll just say that this, this isn't a structure where no one has to live in or any of that kind of stuff. We're using old panels up top, so it's okay. Um, but again, that's how we kind of put these four by four posts in. All right, so the roof structure. We just kind of made a big square around the outside of the post to make sure they're nice and square and level. And all that was done by two by sixes. And then we came in and started putting some two by six rafters in. And then at the very end of that, we just put some one by four strapping across the two by six just so we have something to uh to install the roof on so let's show you some clips of what we did
All right, so the last thing we talk about is the metal roof. So these are just galvanized panels that we've had that were left over from different projects. We've used them multiple times for different things. Here recently, we used them to cover up our garden uh, to battle some hailstones that were falling. So some of these have holes, but again, we're not really worried about that because it doesn't have to be waterproof. Definitely not gonna be waterproof. It just needs to be shade for the guy. So that's what we're doing. And um, like I said, they're not the prettiest looking roof panels, but the goats aren't gonna care and neither are we. Now, one of the things we did do is we did lean the roof down just a little bit at an angle, probably maybe a quarter inch, half inch on this side versus that side, just so if there is water and rain, it will flow back through here. It's kind of the natural flow of the land. And again, I'm not really worried about snow loads or any of those kind of things. We just don't get a ton of snow. But even if that's the case, I still think it's strong enough to handle any snow that we get here in Oklahoma. So we got the bench back in place, project's done. And Marcy says, this is what was in her mind's eye for the last year of a permanent shade for these guys. And let me tell you, if mama ain't happy, no one's happy, guys. Lesson learned. So guys, thanks for coming back. We really do appreciate you guys watching these videos all the way to the end. We're gonna bring you some other footage here, so don't go away quite yet, because there's gonna be some uh, footage of some goats. But guys, thanks again. Click that subscribe button, ring that bell, give us some thumbs up, leave some comments, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Bye. There you go, big boys. There you go. There you go. It's your new bench. It's your new bench, yeah, and your new shade. Oh, yeah.